it off. We've got some tarnish over here. I do want to go in and touch up this IC right here. Let's see if I can get it to. After I'll pull the IC out as well, clean it up. Looks like I'm going to have to. We'll see here in a minute. What is that IC here? It's a BA. Looks like it's had some. Looks like it's gotten hot. Just trying to make sure we keep it all dry. I can. Blow it down too, which we may have happened to do. Still got white, but we'll run another clean on it here eventually. But that, that looks bad. Whatever was in here that ate this up has really ate it up pretty good right in there. Something has anyway. I mean, it's eat it up pretty good. I don't see any traces. Probably when you get into stuff, it eats stuff up like this. Because it causes things to jump places. Like, you know, the, it's got some, you know, it could have some conductivity to it. And it's just eating stuff up. But we will endeavor to see if we could figure out what's going on with it. I surely would love to find out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the diode away from next to it and see. Let's see if by chance it has a number I can use. I'm going to resolder that one. Say the problem with this was that it was probably jumping everywhere. With the liquid probably making it jump. Oh, I'm not even in frame. Yeah, it should be, but I've got the zoom out. That's not all the way out. All I'm doing here, we take the other one out, see if I can see what the number is on it. If not, We'll have to go to the good old computer internet and see if I can find schematic on that. And all I'm doing there was just getting the old solder off so I'm going to lay some new solder over some of that because of the corrosion. Um, that's what I did there. Pretty, but the reflowed and it seems to be sticking to the pad and the wire, so I'm good there. Now, what I want to do is it's definitely got an odor to it. I don't know what the odor is, but it's definitely got an odor to it. So let's pull these up, pull the trace. That's something you got to watch about doing on this stuff here, pulling that trace. Not a big deal, just gotta just re heat that up so the trace settles. There we go. We're gonna hopefully have some luck. It's got a number on here so I know exactly what type of diode it is. If not, I may lay one in there anyway. May I lay some of my own. Alrighty. And I don't see no number on it. So let's uh, see if we got a number. 
got to put my, I call them blinders on. It's just a, uh, I'm off camera here, so. No number. So, I'm going to do something that, I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to take, turn this off, we're done with this, let's bring my voltmeter over here for a minute. See what the forward bias on that diode is and since that diode is small put this over here for a minute since that diode is small if I can get something close I'm assuming those two diodes are pretty close so let's we'll go ahead and take our leads off here because I don't I'll use these the smaller leads so let's go ahead and pull this off right now nice thing is you can find a lot of this stuff on the internet hopefully we can sometimes you get lucky sometimes you don't but I think we get lucky on this one it's an old enough unit you know it's an old enough unit all right let's see what we got so let's let's turn that on let's go down here to diode all right all right and let's pick diode I mean, I could have left it on auto, so here we go. So, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if this is right. So, it's got a 534 and 539. So, let's see if we can find a Zinnier or whatever that may be. A glass one. Let's, let me look up here in my little boxy box up here. Okay, these diodes are going to be a little bigger. See what, what the rev see if it's got a reverse. So let's go. But there we go. And okay. All right. Let's see what the. Again, okay, these are bigger. But let's see here. Five twenty-two. Okay. This was what? Five twenty. Oh, that might. Those might just work. It might just work. It may just be a a generic offshoot. And you know what I mean. And. That's closer. It's a 5:30. So that would say that's going to be closer than. Bad thing is, can I get that lead into that board? Yeah, I'd say that other one's better. All right, so we're going to use that one. And if it gives me a fit, then it gives me a fit. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll change that and we'll see what we got after this. So let me. We're done here. Here. This box over here. All right, let's see here. It's an awful small hole. We'll see if we can get that in there. If we can't, then I may look for one elsewhere. Let's see if it'll go in here first. All right, let's see if it'll go in here first. Looks like it will. It's a little bigger, but that's okay up when I'm thinking about it. It's got the same forward bias number. I don't know if it's the same, but we're going to give it a shot anyway right now. And let's see if it works. Now, I would recommend, really honestly, people going to find the schematic for it, but we're just going to give it a shot here. 
and I'm, a, I'm just taking an assumption that both those diodes are the same. Still, I know. You assume stuff, you know what happens. I know what happens when you assume stuff. But my thing is, what the heck? Unit doesn't work anyway, and really, it's kind of outdated. Of course, I like outdated stuff, but um, matter of fact, we're going to be working on a. Um, we're going to be working on an old radio that I had purchased. It's not really what I wanted, but what I really wanted, I just wasn't going to spend that type of money on. other diode back in where it belongs straighten it up alrighty okay the diode wants to play with me just a little bit They had it originally. Now what cracked that? I don't know. But we're going to see if that worked. We'll see if it's fixed a few items here. So let me go ahead and solder that. I'm going to resolder. Huh, okay, that's not going to resolder. I'll resolder that then. That never resolder. The other one there did not resolder. So let's see what we got. First of all, let's go ahead and get these out of the way. That one there did not resolder. And it should have, but it didn't. So let's go ahead. What it is, we may have to scrape this up just a little bit. Trying to keep stuff in frame. Trying to Let's see if that will do it now. Come on, stick. There we go. Just didn't like that. What I'm going to do this for the next part, I'll have to do off camera. I've got to look at the traces, and that's what I do. So let me pause it and I'll look at all the traces. All right, uh, I did this off camera, I turned the camera off because it took some time. What I did was I went in and cleaned all these up, make sure we didn't have any traces that were no chemical or anything that's kind of touching any of the traces because what happens is you know that conducts um, so still got this white stuff I think I know what happened I, I think I put the wrong alcohol I think that's because I was running denatured alcohol instead of um, my regular stuff I picked put the wrong stuff in the wrong container so that's why the white stuff but anyway so anyway we I cleaned everything made sure everything wasn't making any contact all that crap they had in there so now and I cleaned up over here make sure we're no contact there so now what we'll do is we're going to put the capacitors in and I'll put a couple of new capacitors in um, put a couple of new ones in here just because the other ones have chemicals on them same voltage I'm usually it would up the voltage but I'm happy with the voltage on this these capacitors are just a little bit bigger, but it's what I have. So, and we'll go ahead and we'll flip it over and we'll go ahead and put new capacitors in here. All right, positives on this one. And we're going to lay it in and pull the tabs over. And this one here says the positive is over there. So, we'll put the positive where it says. Always make sure you follow the right, the, um, uh, 
bright clarity because I've seen people put capacitors in wrong. Without it, if you have any doubt, make sure you mark it before you take it apart. So let's go ahead and solder. Make sure I'm in frame here. I've got so much stuff on that screen that I don't know if I'm in frame. So I don't know why I've got my I'll take my hood off. I don't need that. I needed that so I can see the traces, but I don't need to see. Make sure I can still see the traces without my glasses, but this just gives me a little bit more in-depth view. And uh, so let's see what we got. Like I said, I am no expert at any of this, but. Um, yes, I've, it's not the capacitor, but I soldered it anyway. Because I noticed the solder looked funky. Alrighty, and we'll go ahead. Put those on now. Now it's got new capacitors, and what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and lay the. We'll go ahead and lay the transformer back in. So I make sure I had them right. Put the new diode in. Clean it up the best I can. We'll see if it needs an actual bath. We're just going to see if we can fire it up. Uh, then we'll completely clean it. So now let's go ahead and put our transformer back in. I can figure out what to do with it. Oh, there it is. Alright, let's go ahead and wipe some of the dust off. We got it out anyway. Alright, so let's go ahead and transformer in the writing is forward I hold a doing a transformer is different is a little bit more trickier so because of the weight of it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the weight of the chassis to hold the transformer in so I can solder it push down a little bit make sure I've got Good con connection. There we go. And we're good. Right, what I'll do is I'll give me just a little bit of solder here. Then I'll then I'll push the transformer in place. There it goes. Then I'll do the same thing here. I'll, I'll there we go. Make sure it's all seated down like it belongs. Looks good. It's like an IC. Just do each corner. Give you one on each corner, and that should be good enough. Like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm just a tinker. And that's why I'm trying to do some of these videos to show that I'm not afraid to tackle anything, and you shouldn't really be either. You should be able to... If it's not working, what the heck? You know, if it's old enough, and it's not something you really, you, you know, you really need, then why not? You know, why not? Now then, that's no means we fixed the problem. We'll find out here in a minute. We'll see if it kicks out the overload and if we still smell stink. I hate to say it, but I think I don't know where the amplifier came from, but somebody or something probably peed in it because there's it's not, if it's not the capacitors shorted out, if it ain't the capacitor issue, then it's I. Really, the way that looked, like capacitor looked kind of small, but that liquid is pretty potent. Whatever it was, was pretty potent in here. It was really, really, really potent. I just go back around and make sure we get everything. Reflow it. Just make sure we got a nice flow. You know, flow. Flow, flow, flow. It must pull some power coming from the other. Uh, must pull some power from the other side there. I'm going to throw these capacitors away, even though they still test good. Um, I'm not taking the chance, so. So you know. Alright, so now what I want to do is now it looked like I had a this wire, this tie wire came out of its 
uh, of its hole came unsoldered, so let's go ahead and solder my tie wire. If you look, it's just a tie. It's just so that the so that the um, so you had something to twist your. We can do this out of falling out, and it may fall out. Yep, there we go. All right, still don't like that, so I'm going to try to brush that off a little bit with a paintbrush. Get all that. that. It has to do with the, the wrong alcohol and. Trust me, I'll fix that here in a bit. And let's see, give me this, and this here should take it. Loosen that up, I'll loosen up anything like that. And then I'll take my brush and wipe off that. All right. Now, we will probably end up eventually cleaning this up. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in at this point in time just to see if it's going to work. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. And so what I'm going to do here is to make sure that we've got a, a good ground connection. I'm going to run me a screw right up here in the middle. If I can find my stuff here. I'll clean my shop up just to mess it up again. Alright, so let's see here. Let's go ahead. And... Now, so does not mean it's going to work? Believe it or not, I think we need to probably go through all these capacitors, and I'm really not looking forward to that. I'm not worried about that. We'll lay that back in the hole for right now. It's fine. All right, and it should be a top board. Where my top board went? Ah. Let's put my top board in. All right, let's put the top board in. Here's for the fluorescent display. All right, I'm going to lay this board out. And unfortunately, now I have, I'm going to go ahead and desoldering because if it doesn't work now, we are going to have to do, we'll do something else. So let's put this over. Now, this unfortunately requires an amplifier, which is this right here. So let's pull this away. Let's see if we. See if we got that stink still. So what I'm gonna do is I need a whole lot of room here. Unfortunately my desk has got so much other stuff on it, you know, stuff I use for soldering and desoldering. But let's get this amplifier put in. Let's we'll see if, if if it's gonna work. All right. Hopefully it works. But if it doesn't. Uh, okay, since 14 and 19 to transform, which is funny. All right. All right. Moment of truth. Well, I think we have. Nope, still got to protect, but I don't know what's, what's causing that. So let's, we've got our e EQ is on, but we've got to protect somewhere and we still have got a, uh, an issue here can't see it but it is on but we've got something else Ooh, it's not white gotta watch because those fluorescent displays they do have but we still have our protect and I don't know if it's because we don't have our speakers in or what but I don't think so because I don't think so because we have um, See here in a minute. Let's take a look at this, and let's turn that on again. It's on manual. Let's see if everything works here. Let's see here. Let's see what the graph says. All right. All right, everything seems to be working. Does it still say protect? All right. So let's um. 
so far with the demo work so we've got all that obviously is working I don't know if you can see that or not it's kind of hard to see but the demo does work I don't smell that smell no more but we're still getting a protect but doesn't necessarily mean anything it may mean that we have a um, may have to put a speaker to it so um, we may have to make out a part well I ain't gonna say part two we make this one video here in the bit. I'm just gonna lay that down for a minute. So anyway, we don't don't have the smell no more. We still have the protect. Apparently we've got power because everything's working. The demo's working. So protect, I don't know. I unplug this. Well, I think it's because I don't have speakers in there now. So we may put a uh, set of speakers in and see if that works. Maybe we just need a set of speakers. So let me uh, put a set of speakers on. All right. Went ahead and soldered up some speakers. Nice, uh, not a nice thing, but the thing you've got to know about stereos are sometimes they go into protect mode if there's no speakers because I think because the amplifiers I don't want to steer anybody wrong but I think it had to do with the amplifier ICs in there or transistor or whatever they're using um, if it doesn't have a any resistance it, it uh, I just it has something to do with the speakers and in some cases uh, it's like that and in some cases it's not um, I know they have a relay for shorted speakers that sh you know shut off and I think they do the same thing if you don't have speakers. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and power this out. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. I have my way up and see if it see if it goes to protect again. If it goes into protect, then I don't know right offhand, and it's something I'll have to do some research on. But needless to say stuff is working so let's see what happens here so we're going to turn the amplifier on now let's see if it goes and protect okay and that's what it was there was no speaker so it went in protect mode but it looks like we've got something so let's see now this has got an fm tuner let's see if we can get fm let's see if she works here so let's go back in let's see here tuner So it does look like we have something. So we may have fixed the problem. We had a bad diode and a couple bad capacitors over here. I would like to probably replace all the capacitors in here. But I don't know if I really want to spend time to do that. So let's see if we can find something. I don't have any antennas here. And unfortunately, my shop is in the basement. So I don't really have anything that allows me to have any type of antenna. I need to do that because I do have an antenna on the roof, but I don't have an antenna down here. So, let's see if we can get lucky enough to do the old wire trick. And I'm trying to find an old wire. So, where's my antenna wire? Alright, that's in. Okay. So far I don't smell that smell no more, so we've got that hopefully figured out. And we'll find out. I don't know if I don't know if by chance this um, I don't know by chance if this No I'm gonna use some wire here. I don't know if by chance if it does work because I don't have a whole lot down here to test it on. So we're going to put So we've got some signal Let's see, let's see here, let's uh, find out here a minute Let me that's the question Alright, let's see here Tune it Let's see here We may work on this a little bit more because I do notice the display on here is pretty dim. Um, 
it really is dim and that's usually a bad capacitor so we may fix that but right now it looks like it's um, at least working Personally. There we go. Had a lot of trouble in school. But I don't know if the EQ doesn't work with. He had trouble making friends, Let's having a lot of meltdowns, a lot of tantrums. I feel like all I did was yell at my kid all day. Okay, what there we go. Did was give us so I give you an idea of what we got going on here. This is just this an is antenna. We're going to get from point A to point B. And this we're going to lay the antenna up here. We started seeing huge differences in how he behaves. Focus in class and how he retains the information. If you look. The EQ does work. I don't doubt for a moment that I made the right decision in taking Sophia right. brain balance. It does not there like over here, life so let's bring it over here. Balance, and there's our life after brain balance. And the two so anyway, so we have fixed it. It's a totally different um, Why just mask your child's nothing stinky, nothing issues, smells bad. The 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 EQ Call brain works. Today and make a real difference in the Everything of seems to be doing pretty good. So we're going to call this fixed. Um, still wrestling phone will replace all the capacitors. We may do that in a future episode, but right now as it, as it stands, it works. So, thanks for watching.